As always, please don't do anything you see in my video without consulting your doctor. I am a trained professional and I've done many different things to my psoriasis that I am comfortable doing. So if you don't like seeing graphic videos of psoriasis, please turn away now, change the channel, go somewhere else. Uh, thanks for visiting. Hey everybody, welcome back. I wanted to go ahead and tell you about uh, what happened. So I streamed a little bit on uh, Friday uh, live and it went pretty well for about 40 minutes or so and then they cut me off um i think they were having some issues all around where uh if somebody got reported they would immediately flag it and take the entire stream down and give you a strike uh, and then once a human reviewed it um they were able to reinstate me uh and a few other like big giant youtubers had the same issue so anyways it's good to not have that strike on and i can continue streaming uh, i haven't quite worked out a schedule yet but uh, i'll try to give you guys a few hours leeway next time i do stream something that being said i'm gonna have to slow down on the knife uh type scraping i think because i mean several of my old videos have, have been basically removed and uh, and then also have had reports of strikes and whatnot on those as well so you know sometimes you just got to play by the rules i'd love to just go on and do what it is that i do um and constantly i would love to just keep going um you know and we will but as far as youtube goes i'm gonna go ahead and play by the rules so today we are going to bring back a classic Non-toxic glue. See? Safe. Non-toxic. What I'm going to do is try it a few different times, uh, and we will see if it works as I do multiple peels, uh, and kind of take it from there. We're going to do some peeling with dried non-toxic glue. All right, so what we are looking at here is the back of my left calf. Also has a whole bunch of stubborn psoriasis patch scales and uh, and these are a pain in the butt to take off um, no matter what happens I would basically bleed uh, as you can see with this bottom portion that I scratched off the other day um, but uh, but yeah it, it definitely will bleed no matter what happens so uh, probably won't bleed with peeling it off with the uh, non-toxic glue so let's uh, let's give it a shot what I'd like to do is as before, put on a nice thick layer all over and let it dry for about 30 minutes or so. However long it takes, we'll wait for it. I think that's thick enough, maybe a little more. Why not? You know, the benefit of this stuff is as it's drying, it's definitely transferring moisture into those, uh, th those, uh, those dry skin, uh, those dry scales. And uh, it hopefully should help pull them off. Otherwise, I should be able to pick them off relatively easy after the fact. All right, let's let that sit for a while and uh, we'll pick back up as soon as it gets dry. Okay, we are all back with the dried uh, glue. So let's uh, peel it up and see if it works. It's kind of hard to find the, the spot.
seem to take off maybe a tiny bit of the top layer off. All right, let's do it again. This time, I've got the extra strength formula, also non-toxic. Okay, back again, guys, and it's been about an hour um, since uh, since this effort to dry. Maybe a little more, but uh, it took a little while longer because I think uh, I put a lot more on. Uh, but uh, yeah, this is uh, this is ready to roll. A lot easier to pick or pull this pull this off the uh, the extra strength glue it's a little stiffer and uh, I, it feels like it's gonna work better this time around Definitely pulling up hairs, that's for sure. Okay, it looks like I grabbed a piece of the psoriasis there. <clears throat> Very cool. We'll take a closer look at that in a second. All right, since we're here, yeah, it looks like it lifted it a little bit. It's very soft now. Well, I can go hog wild on the rest of them, but I've got a, another special project to, uh, to use the rest of it on. So, uh, you'll have to stand by for the rest of this to be removed, hopefully. 
Well, that was uh, that was cool. Um, definitely pulled off a lot more than the tape was able to. I personally like the extra strength glue. I think it worked a little better. Um, it felt uh, it was easier to pull off. That's for sure. What did you guys think? Did you like the normal glue or did you like the extra strength glue? Either way, we've got uh, some scales left and I've got a few more things to show you this week. Um, stay tuned for the next video. Don't forget to hit that like button or the subscribe button. Both would be very much appreciated. Thanks very much. We'll catch you guys next time.